हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट गैस टर्बाइन कंबशन सिस्टम एंड दिस इज अ वेरी डिटेल टॉपिक सो वी विल कवर अ वेरी स्मॉल बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक गैस टर्बाइन कंबशन स्प्रेड सम पीपल कॉल इट एग्जॉस्ट स्प्रेड ऑल्सो सो वी विल कवर दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इन दिस वीडियो so friends i am a mechanical engineer with uh, 20 years of experience in power plant operations and maintenance and i started uh, creating very small fundamental uh, video series on gas turbine and steam turbine as well as another boiler bop uh, areas as well so i keep my videos very short and to the point for uh, introductory and uh, understanding to everybody but if you uh, want to ask any detail question or any particular insight so you can ask me in comment i will try my best to respond so uh, friends we are talking about gas turbine spread and here in uh, you can see the all combustion chambers are arranged in a 360 degree fashion in a gas turbine and theoretically all uh, Uh, uh all places the combustion is same and the temperature is same and the same temperature gas is impinging on the gas turbine so theoretically all at 360 degree the temperature should be same and so that uniform temperature everywhere so no need of uh, uh, ex, uh distortion or one uh, at plus one place there is some high elongation at one place there is a little less so that sort of th uh, things are not there in theory but practically what happens there are n number of components in these combustion chambers like liquid fuel tubings and fuel nozzles and uh, a lot many things like these combustion cans are connected by cross fire tubes which we can see here so if any of the component are having any problem so what will happen is there is a a possibility of high fuel going in one of the combustion chamber or there is a less fuel going in one of the combustion chamber so you have a little allowance uh, for them for even uh, for smaller unevenness but if the unevenness of temperature is high then you will have a serious problem not immediately but in long term there will be a problem so yeah that is the spread issue but you know uh, here you cannot measure the temperature because of limitation of uh, high temperature area as well as the rotating parts so what you do you measure the temperature at the exhaust of the turbine here you have a uh, lot many thermocouples and that gives you a idea of what the temperature will be here so uh, just one important concept uh, i will explain here so let's say you are uh, seeing a low temperature in this area and uh, you uh, are thinking that this low temperature uh, probe is directly in front of this combustion can so here there may be some problem of liquid fuel flow or gas fuel flow so let me tell you this will be a wrong assumption because you know the gas turbine is continuously rotating and in turn the flu the flue gases is also rotating which we call a swirl effect so uh, here the temperature is low so you need to check that with the swirl angle at that particular megawatt maybe this this location temperature difference is related to this combustion can and the same swirl will change at a different uh, swirl angle at a different load so you have calculators available on internet or g uh, websites provide that so then you can understand which particular probe is reflecting to problem in which particular combustion can so that is a important uh, concept of swirl angle so you should remember that now in this uh, uh, image you can see that's what we were talking about in the previous slide that there are temperature elements located uh, it's 
uh, on the exhaust side and you are measuring the temperature at each point now uh, this green blue line and red line are indicating different temperatures so in blue line you can see the temperature is more or less uniformly distributed so that is a healthy condition of a turbine but in red line you see the temperature at some point of uh, place some place is 950 degree kelvin and some place it is very low so that is showing that there is some problem in the combustion process the temperatures are not uniformly distributed so what it, what it will create it will so you can imagine a uh, three you know 360 degree plot this temperature will have a different temperature something lower so here the stresses and the expansion of metals will be lower while if you compare with this so temperature is high elongation is high so this will cause a little bit of distortion in the overall system and which is very unhealthy for a turbine gas turbine this is not going to create any problem as soon as uh, in a very short term but yes in long term it is going to be a very uh, unhealthy situation so how much it should be it should be around 50 degrees celsius for a uh, 50 or 60 you can say sometimes uh, i have seen in 6b machine it is 69 also so it will be like say we can understand from 50 to 70 it is a normal uh, kind of uh, uh, behavior if a spread is in between that but how you calculate the spread so spread as the word suggests is how far it is uh, how it is spreaded in between so uh, spread you can calculate by noticing the maximum temperature and deducting the minimum temperature from that let's say the maximum temperature is uh, 700 degree and the minimum temperature is 650 degree celsius then you deduct and you get 50 degree celsius so 50 degree is the spread and this the max minus min you can call as a spread one and there will be a second minimum also like 660 degree then you deduct uh, 700 minus 660 then you will get a number of like 40 so that will be spread 2 so spread 1 spread 2 spread 3 are calculated they have a name like ttxsp1 ttxsp2 or p3 like that and there is another term called ttxsm ttxm so that if you uh, take a mean of all these temperature measurement then you find it ttxm and there is another term called TTXSPL which is a allowable spread so that what we are talking about allowable spread depends upon the type of uh, operation of the machine if you are stuck at a very constant load operation which is a kind of a base load operation then your spread allowable spread reduces and let's say you are varying uh, load in a transient condition so machine gives a allowance when you are varying the load so that time allowable spread remains high so i think that you might have got a fair idea of what spread is yeah. now these are uh, some typical reasons for high spread now you can see uh, this is a fishbone diagram i have not created this i have taken from a website and i am explaining just to you so there are uh, hardware issues like there is a problem with flow divider when you are running on a liquid fuel one of the port is not having fuel pressure as high as others so that will cause a lower temperature similarly if you are having a contamination in fuel so that will go into fuel nozzles and choke few of the ports so there you will face a, a short fuel coming up and you will have a low temple spot in one of the reason and similarly uh, if there are a person who has worked on turbine has not very done a meticulous job so then poor workmanship will also create some part of problem like they have given more bends uh, more bends in one of the tubing liquid fuel tubing for a particular nozzle 
so due to more bends restriction will be high and that restriction will cause a little bit uh, uh, drop in pressure of the fuel to that particular nozzle and that will in turn reduce flow and in uh, liquid fuel or gas fuel uh, there is a possibility of tip erosion also if due to some component available in uh, liquid fuel which is more abrasive so it will erode your uh, one of the particular oh, any one of the nozzle uh, in the beginning so it will uh, put more fuel comparatively and it will get a hot spot and uh, then you will get a spread as well so these are typical problem which may lead to high exhaust spread so friends uh, you can see uh, here in this particular fuel nozzle uh, there is a lot of coking at the tip so you can understand if there is a coking at uh, this end so this will cause a restriction in fuel flow to this particular nozzle and that restriction will cause for a cold spot in that particular zone so this may be one of the reason of uh, high spread another is uh, here you the transition piece are connecting into turbine casing and if there is a you see there is a loss of or damage of seal so this seal is not at this location For, uh, because uh, because of that there will be a lot of uh, gases coming out from this zone and this particular area in the turbine section will witness a low uh, temperature zone compared to other uh, places where the seal is there so this will be again a problem of high spread and you see there is a crossfire tube which is badly damaged so you can imagine if there is a such of a condition of crossfire tube so that will leak a lot of hot gases a lot of hot gases will come out from this and uh, which are supposed to go inside the turbine area so this will also cause a low temperature uh, zone and ultimately in spread so these are some of the problem which you can visualize and understand like this may be one of the reason if high spread in your turbine so i have tried to explain the concept of exhaust spread if you like the content you can subscribe the channel thank you and if you ask if you want to ask anything please ask in comment section thank you very much